Hello everyone! Today I want to talk about how you can set up your fallback. What I mean by fallback is that let's say a facility were to go down, lose power, or, and then come back on again, how would the PLC react to all these DO and AO? Mostly outward in particular. Let me demonstrate with the program. I've got a, a, a M580 program here. Okay, so this is your PLC bus. It will have uh, one power supply with a hot standby uh, CPU. It's got eight slot rack. Um, the main IOs are on your remote IO under EIO bus. If you double click this guy here, it will show you what you have on your remote IO. It's two power supply, redundant power supply with uh, one Ethernet module uh, for communication. And you got on slot one, you have a DO card and slot two, you have an AO card. So if I, uh, in order to characterize this fallback feature, what you have to do is you have to expand, expand your EIO bus, that's where your uh, DO card is, expand your X80 remote drop, expand your uh, CRA here, this drops here, and then that's where you will see your DO card. So if you were to double click your DO card, okay, uh, it brings you to a location where you can actually set up your channel. Right, you got channel uh, one to eight. You see how it highlights different channel altogether. So as you can see, this column here fallbacks. Right now, everything is set to fall back to zero. Right, if a plant goes down, it comes up again. Your your do uh, for every channel will push to uh, zero. You can actually uh, change it to one and customize each different. Uh, is each different uh, output how they behave, right? So that's your fallback uh, if the power come goes down and comes back on again. But in an event that let's say if you want the PLC program to maintain its old settings, whatever it was before the power went down, and it comes back on again. What you do is that you go your fallback mode, you change it from fallback mode to maintain. That's for channel zero to eight eight, and you can still characterize it uh, the rest of the channel as custom like that so but if you want if you want all your all your channels all 32 channels in this particular card to go uh, to maintain what you do is you click either you click here you see how it highlights different location I right, so you click channel 8 you go maintain or you can click here and go maintain click here maintain that's how you characterize fallback, um, and okay, we can put it back on again uh, to fall back here, right? But it'll start with zero. Just be aware of that. So uh, th this is for DO. That's how you characterize fallback, I guess. Um, so for AO, it's similar. I'm gonna close this. Um, I'm not gonna save it here. Uh, so for the AO, you go to this section here on structural view. Double click this AO. It looks somewhat similar. So this is a four-channel AO. Right, but this doesn't have this fallback. What it uses is a checkbox. Right, uh, again, uh, you can actually uh, characterize fallback right now as individual as you as you want it to be. Right, uh, you can actually disable enable that way individually. Right, but you can't actually change it uh, each individual one. So if you don't want the fallback to go to zero, or you want to maintain its original value prior to the power going down, you just click on it. To remove your zero and to put it back you do that so once you're happy with your changes let's say this is my changes you hit validate and you close it you save it and you push it to your PLC program um, that's how you do fallback I hope this small little tip will help you anyway uh, you have a good day bye